And now for our feature presentation. What's good? Just Prince TV here. Enjoying a nice, good day, sunny California. Want to talk to y'all about Forbes magazine. They named Jay-Z as the greatest rapper of all time. Really? Okay, I get what's going on here because Billboard magazine in 2023 named Jay-Z the greatest rapper of all time. Jay-Z's lucky to have a lot of connects in high places, friends in high places, a lot of guys that don't know hip hop, right? Some geek that's sitting around calculating numbers and thinking that makes hip hop uh, relevant for saying an artist is uh, better than another artist. Some of these people who do hip hop rankings, a little secret, they don't even listen to music. They don't even listen to hip hop music. That automatically makes you disqualified for talking about the culture that you know nothing about, but you're a culture vulture. And Jay-Z, he adds on to a lot of this culture vulture because not saying he is one, but he caters to the people that are culture vultures. And to name him the greatest rapper of all time, that's completely wrong. But that list itself had Nicki Minaj over Nas. If you listen to hip hop and you got Nicki Minaj over Nas, you need to be disqualified from talking about hip hop. Don't ever mention the word rap ever, okay? Of course, they got the typical usual suspects of overratedness on that list, Eminem, Kendrick Lamar at number two is a slap into the face of hip hop. Kendrick Lamar is not the second greatest rapper of all time. Good artist, but definitely not the second greatest artist of all time. I don't know where they come up with that. Maybe they're just caught up in the Drake battle or something like that. And having Drake, a pop star, at number six is completely stupid. All right, Drake is not the sixth greatest rapper of all time by a long stretch. But let's get back to Jigga Man, Jay Z himself. All right. They got him at number one, right? Well, Jay-Z, you got to understand something about Jay-Z. He is a feature artist, okay? Some of his best music comes at the hands of featuring with other people. Some of his best albums, like Hard Knock Life, Volume 2, that was a collab album, an album full of uh, Jay-Z and friends, right? As a matter of fact, Jay-Z's best hit records are usually coming at the the hands of collaborating with an R&B star, a Beyonce, uh, Alicia Keys, okay? And some of them outshine him because they have the hook that hooks people in. Alicia Keys, uh, New York State of Mind. She's more known for that song than Jay-Z, but it's originally a Jay-Z song, right? And technically a Jay-Z song. But Alicia Keys is the one that killed it. Even one of his biggest um, albums that blow him up. It's a hard knock life. You remember her chorus more than Jay-Z's lyrics. <laughs> okay. Um, lyrically, when you're listening to hip hop, everybody knows uh, Jay-Z's not that type of dude. Uh, it's seriously creative. He steals a lot of lyrics from other greats, whether it's a Nas or a Biggie. Um, LL, who he didn't want to even battle, all right? He was completely afraid to battle LL. A lot of people are. I mean, LL Cool J is a career ender when it comes to battling on the mic. He's a very traditional hip-hop artist that he comes with the shits. He could, yeah, don't rule number one in hip-hop. Don't fuck with LL Cool J, you know? But anyway, that's another story for another day. Um, here's the thing. Jay-Z is a very overrated artist, because he aligns himself with a lot of people that got money. And he's friends with a lot of people that got money. Okay, so it's free promotion for Jay-Z. Jay-Z is a businessman. He said it himself in his music. So he knows how to manipulate you. He knows how to advertise himself. I'm not mad at him for that, okay? A guy that's a good businessman that knows how to advertise himself, I'll give him credit on that. But the people know, the streets know, you never were the people's champ. People are never going to say Jay-Z's the greatest rapper of all time because you don't have a resume that do so, okay? Um, you have some, uh, probably two to three classic albums and that's questionable. I mean, the only real classic album he has is kind of Reasonable Doubt and The Blueprint Volume 1 if you just want to go that route, all right? The rest of those albums was just lukewarm hit albums with a couple good hit singles, right? But as an artist, um, there's no category that Jay-Z is the best in, okay? 
there's no category that he's outranking somebody in. He is a very overrated artist, but again, he knows how to promote himself. Okay, so the fact that he's a future artist, okay, um, not more of a solo artist that could give you original content hurts his chances of being great too as well. Um, but I'm not surprised, you know. We all know who the real prophet is, like my man Nas said, who's also better than Jay-Z. But it is what it is. Just Prince TV out. Peace.